Hey, welcome back. In this video, just going over an example on using the method of sections to solve trust problems in statics. So uh, this is useful if you've been asked to solve for just a single or a couple internal forces in a truss. Uh, for example, if your professor asks you to solve for the internal force and member EG here, if we were to use the method of joints, it would take forever. We'd have to go joint by joint the whole way across. But with the method of sections, we pretty much do it in two quick steps. Uh, the first thing that we do is we want to just cut, we want to take a virtual cut and separate our truss into two sides and we want to make sure that our cut is passing through the, the member in question and also that it's only passing through a maximum of three members because in 2D statics problems we have a maximum of three unknowns. So I'm just going to pass my section like that and I'm going to eventually cut this truss into the left hand side and the right hand side. Well, the first thing that we want to do before we get to that, I guess, is we'll just want to actually find what the reaction supports are. Uh, so we'll go ahead and we'll draw a free body diagram for the whole structure and solve for those. So we have our two applied external forces here, and then we have a horizontal reaction at our hinge and a vertical reaction for A. And we also have our other vertical reaction over here at the roller. Another thing I just forgot to mention was that all of these members are going to be one meter long. Uh, and then when we have everything one meters long and they're triangles, then we get these as equilateral triangles. So we get all these angles in here as 60 degrees. All right, so that gives us these distances that I've drawn on here in this pink color. And then this is just the one times sine 60. So that's just 0 0.866 meters in height. All right, so now let's take the sum of forces in the x direction. There is only one force in the x direction. So when we set the sum of forces in x uh, equal to zero, uh, we only have that one force that's AX, so AX is just equal to zero. Um, the sum of forces in the y direction is AY plus KY minus two minus three kilonewtons. And then the sum of moments about A has these three components. So if we just simplify that, we get FY is 2.8 and then AY is 2.2. All right, now that we have the reaction supports, what we want to do is we want to redraw our truss. We can bring it down here. And our, we had a section passing through it like this that we were considering. So what we want to do is we want to just pick the left-hand side or the right-hand side and cut it in half and just draw the free body diagram of that side. So I'm going to pick the, uh, the, the left-hand side. Uh, you can pick either. But this is the free body diagram once we, take, once we remove the other side. And now all we have to do is take the sum of forces in the x direction, the sum of forces in the y direction, and the sum of moments about some point, and then we can solve for these three unknowns. You'll notice that these are the internal forces, and I have drawn them in tension. We use it as a sign convention so that when we solve for our answers, if we get a positive answer, we know that that member is in tension, and if we get a negative answer, then we know that that member is in compression. So if you remember, the original question was, you know, was asking what is the internal force in EG? So we're about to find that out. So Let's start with the sum of forces in the x direction. But there's not enough information here. There's too many unknowns. So then the next thing we're going to have to do is write out the expression for the sum of forces in the y direction. And this can just easily be arranged to get Fg is equal to 2.31 kilonewtons. And you'll notice that is a positive number. So that means that this member is in tension. Now at this point, our unknowns are still Eg and Fh. So we're going to have to do one more step by solving for the sum of moments about point A. So you'll see I've always written the, the magnitude of the force times the distance, and the distance here is in brackets. So this is this two kilonewtons here, that's two times one meter. Fg sine 60 is the y component of this force, and the distance from A to the perpendicular distance to the line of action of that force is 2.5 meters. Uh, we also need to break out the x component of this force because its line of action would come over here. So we have Fg cos 60 and then times that perpendicular distance to that line of action of the force. And then same for Fh, we have the, the magnitude of the force here times the distance of that perpendicular distance to the line of action of the force again. You notice all of these because I've defined the positive sense of a moment to be counterclockwise, all of these would tend to cause this object to rotate clockwise about point A. So they're all giving us uh, negative moments by my definition. All right, so we can go ahead and simplify this a little bit more, and we'll find out that FH is actually negative 3 kilonewtons, which means it's in compression. So that's why we have this C here in brackets for compression, whereas here, when it was in tension, we just little, leave a little T there just for, to keep track. All right, so the last thing that we want to do now is just uh, plug back in all of these values that we found into this original expression. So we still are missing... EG, so we had FH, this was, well that will be minus 3, and then FG cos 60, FG was 0 
two, three, one, and cos 60 is just 0 0.5. So that's all equal to zero. And when we just solve for EG, we get that our EG is 2.88. Uh, what was that? 2.885. 2.885, that comes out as a positive number, uh, so that was kilonewtons, and because it's positive, that means we've correctly assumed it's an intention, and there we go, we've actually solved the, the problem now that we were looking for. So, we'll put the answer there. Um, this is a much faster method than had we used method of joints and gone through and solved every joint up until that point. Um, so there you go, I will catch you guys in the next video, and... Now we'll go over one more example on using the method of sections.